Hey Deviants of the Dev Nation, it's Devi, and welcome back to my channel! Now, let's talk cartoons. Specifically, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, the episode Mac Magic. We're gonna do a little recap and some highlights of this episode. And let me just say, when you want an episode that really has a splendid moral and life lesson, this episode is one you can definitely turn to. This episode made me laugh so hard, but most of all, it really had me thinking and got me in the feels, you know, whoa, like, wow, they did that. So let's get right into the recap and highlight, shall we? So for the first time since the entire bomb started, we see Jackie Lynn. Where the heck were you, Jackie? I don't know if the Star vs. the Forces of Evil crew was trying to hint us at something, but in Raid the Cave, Marco was talking to her on the phone, but he was basically ignoring her while watching Star pack up and do stuff. And then she wasn't mentioning Baby, and she didn't even bother to show up at Sensei's party in Trickstar. I mean, Jenna and her little friend was there, so, uh, Jackie, where were you? Uh, so then in this episode, they aren't even sitting together in class. I mean, if I was all couple couple buddy buddy with my friend, I would want to be beside my friend in class. You know, like it's class. When we go home, we ain't going to be seeing each other, you know, so why not sit beside each other in class? Anyways, <laughs> Jenna tells Star a joke and she burst out into laughter, disturbing the entire class of uninterested, tired looking kids. So Miss Kolnick is like, well, since you want to disrupt the class, you better get up here and solve for C, as any teacher would. You know, they always do those stuff. I hate when they put me on spot like that. Gosh. So Star is all like, no prop, Bob. I can do this with the lickily split. Did I just say lickily split? Damn it. And she heads up to the board. Her little dance, though, her answer for C was a cat. I wish. Skolnik was like, girl, you better get up here and answer this question right now. So she was mad. She was mad. You know, like, are you mocking me? Are you mocking my intelligence, girl? So anyway, Star goes back up to the board and she writes on the board asking Marco for help because she didn't know the answer. <laughs> yeah. But finally, um, she decides, yo, it's time to magic up. Time to use some magic. So she using magic on the board, but... <laughs> This it just ends up putting her in a time loop from where Jenna was telling her the joke to where Skolnik, um, where she tells Skolnik she doesn't know the answer for the freaking problem. So every time she's like, I don't know the answer, boop, it loops. She just kept looping. It does this for around three, ten or more times till she finally decides, hey, I gotta hit up Father Time for some help because yeah, this is happening way too often. So yeah, we see Father Time, she uses Marco's dimensional scissors. I mean, Marco definitely owes it to her because he made her lose the next one. But then again, that one was stolen. I don't know, I think, yeah, he should have left her with it. So yeah, he did the right thing. So we finally see Father Time again, and it's good to see that he's actually still using this hamster wheel contraption, but he offers no help. So. There's this other guy that actually heard Star asking for help from Father Time. His name is Omnitrexus Prime. And apparently we have two masters of time. You have Father Time who's uh, in charge of Time Time, as, as they put it. And then you have Omnitrexus Prime who is in charge of Space Time. Let's not even get into it because there may even be more. But what more time are they? What more time is there? I don't, I don't know. But anyways, he basically tells Star listen to me i'm the one you need to come to because this is yeah this is my kind of problem so he's like telling her that in every other dimension star where you exist you freaking answer the question you're the only one here this only dimension is the only one where you didn't answer the question so you need to go back and answer the question and then what does star do Star asks him for the answer. She's like, well, you're probably good enough. <laughs> Star, come on. Just, uh, just go home and answer the question. Josh. So yeah, she finally decides to go home. She goes in class. She contemplates it. And then this time, in this time loop, she asks Skolnik to answer the question instead of waiting on Skolnik to ask her the question. 
So I was very proud of her for that. So she goes up to the board, she tries answering the question, and she's like, there for a long time, the universe almost got shattered. You could see the school starting to fall apart. And then you could also see a bunch of different variations in different dimensions of star, including a gender swap star, some of the stars we've already seen, and some that may come in upcoming episodes. So definitely pay close attention to that. I mean, if you can name at least two of these stars, comment it down below. I'll be looking for you guys. I'll be um, liking some of your comments and replying to some. So please, reply to that down in the comment section below so star finally finishes the question and her answer is c equals seven whoa she's like yeah i did that and skolnik is surprised and she's like whoa girl it's wrong <laughs> but at least you tried i'm like oh gosh damn that's so cute so yeah she got it wrong but she tried man and i'm um, thank you skolnik Thank you so much for acknowledging that and appreciating the fact that she actually tried. So here are some highlights that I wanted to point out. One, did you realize some of the references from some of the episodes that we've already seen? I don't know if there was one from Raid the Cave, but from Trickstar was this hat that Jenna was wearing. And from Baby, I saw um, a Dimension Cat, a cat, uh... Yeah, a uh, dimension where Star was a cat. So yeah, I just wanted to point those out. Two, we realized that Marco no longer has the mark of Hecapu bald spot. I had a feeling it would go away. Maybe it's uh, the hair is growing back a little, but the bald spot, if you look under the hair, it's still there. Maybe that's it. And then three, when Star was going up to the board the first time and the second time, the second time really had me. That dance killed me, man. I was laughing so hard. Oh my gosh. Uh, where am I? All right, I'm done counting now. Then the other one is Star gets the answer wrong after trying so hard. So basically the moral of the story is no matter if you fail a lot, <laughs> do not be afraid to try stuff. Do not be afraid to attempt because nothing tried, nothing done. My grandmother been telling me this for ages. Okay, and don't expect anything to be handed to you on a silver platter, all right? You just gotta attempt, do your best. If it doesn't work out, then you try, try, try again until you master it and you become a legend and everybody is coming to you for answers and stuff. Yeah. And the shout out of this video goes to the great Moara. Or should I say Mosrara? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This name is complicated but interesting and I like it. And thank you for being a deviant and watching my videos and liking them and subscribing. And if you want to get the shout out in my next video, literally all you have to do is comment down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications so you be able to be notified whenever I make a new video. The earlier you comment, the better your chances of getting this shout out okay be sure to like this video and again comment down below please be go around and watch my other videos because this is the end of this video bye bye